Coach, I guess we'll just start with uh, overall thoughts on the, on the map, the duel. Well, kind of knew coming into it, we needed to win some battle matches, you know. First four out of five, um, it's tough on us. You know, starting the. Uh, I'm not going to say much about that first match, but man, a couple things that uh, just didn't go our way. Some close calls didn't go our way, and that's kind of what we got to expect sometimes. Um, you know, can't give up two takedowns in that first unless you're going to get your takedown. You know, so anyway. Uh, you know, I think this is one of those matches where you can you can really uh, you can take a team a little further, you know. And so, um, you know, just there's a lot here to work with, and um, kind of kind of what it, what what I expected was was a match like that, and, and I was hoping that, that we were winning six and they were winning four or seven and three one, but. Uh, I don't think that we just did poor in some matches. I thought that maybe at 97 heavyweight, you know, you gotta <clears throat> gotta stay focused in the match and recognize where you're at, what you need to do. And, um, you know, uh, you know the 30 second ride out, and heavyweight. I mean, you get out of there. I mean, it's, you, you have to get out. You know, and so uh, just some just a few things that uh, just need to work on and continue to develop. Coach, going back to I I, I know you, you traditionally like to start at one twenty five. Uh, what went into the change at sixty five? Was it Minnesota's choice or, or okay? They, they they wanted to flip. Okay, so so is is it a coin flip every duel? If they, if the coaches don't uh, agree on starting at twenty five, somebody wants to start at a different weight, then you have to flip. And that's what happened today. Mm -hmm. Okay. They uh, wanted to flip and they started at sixty five. Good job by. Um, both Carter and, and uh, G. Feller, a couple nice wins, you know, uh, tough wins. So. Carter's a guy that's kind of struggled on bottom at times, and then this time he got the riding point and, of course, the win over a top three opponent. Well, in the I, I'll tell you that he's kind of, you know, I mean, hopefully we'll, we'll see that as we move forward, but he really took a little bit of responsibility for, for, his, uh, for himself on bottom. You know, in, in the workout room and practice, um, and just made the decision that I have to get out. If I'm going to be competitive at the weight. What was your uh, observation of kind of his uh, body, bodily body language? Because I noticed that he seemed really confident after the the first period, and I noticed that's something you've said before is that he is a confident wrestler. It's just kind of putting it together for him. Well, you know, it just you, you build that confidence, and you got to be confident when you're when you're. When you're when you have leads, you have to be confident when you're behind. You know, um, yeah, the body language is is big, and, and uh, we had a couple guys that just didn't didn't feel like you know uh, didn't feel like a win. You know, and and um, you know, hopefully we'll see that change as we move forward. Um, you know, it's uh, I thought we saw you know at. Uh, at uh, 33, uh, or excuse me, not 33, but uh, 49. You know, I mean, there needs to be some real attempts, and we need to start before the, the third period, you know, and so um, just didn't really struggle getting to a leg. Where did the team struggle in regards to uh, at 125? Uh, McKee had over three minutes ride time, yeah, and 84 over two minutes ride time there. So, kind of, where did the team seem to struggle there? Well, I think I think it's at 25. It's it's been a little bit of an issue and been a problem, but um, you know, he just needs to take a little responsibility and recognize he's, he's leaving the weight on his hands. I mean, it's just simple things, you know. You Got to get your your hips out in front of you. You know, the hands are on the mat, and that, that makes it tough to get up. Kids. Are, really good you know one of the better kids in the country and so um you know outside that i thought i thought he gave himself a, an opportunity he needed to take a little a uh, few more clean shots you know and, and recognize going into that third you're not out of the match you're just down two to one 
you're going to need two takedowns, you know, and, and, and that, that needs to trigger in your head and, and, and then you, you go and execute. Coach, you know, obviously Carter's crew has been one highlight of the heads and flows so far this year. I mean, as a coach, how did you feel to finally see him come on top, especially in that? Well, I, I think, you know, it, it's just a process, right? We've talked about it, development as we go through and experiences that we've had. Uh, even in this dual meet, it's like I said, I can, I got a lot to work with after this dual meet, you know. Um, exposed a little bit. This is by far the best team we wrestled, and it's a good team, um, you know. Uh, and so it gives us something. I, I, I feel, you know, uh, you know, if, if we wrestled them in two weeks, hopefully I'd, I'd see a different uh, level of performance. You know, I'm not going to say we're going to win. I just see, I think we we. we recognized a little bit real quickly that to win tough, hard matches, you've got to wrestle tough and hard, you know, and, and uh, wasn't enough. Looks like we were holding on a little bit. You kind of said how, you know, you wanted to see more emotion from Carter. It looked like he showed a good amount of emotion after that takedown with the counter. Take me through that. Well, you know, I mean, you know, the story of a little bit of this afternoon is, how many single legs did we not finish? <laughs> you know, um, and we, we just got to kind of recognize that you know, we, we got to out, out wrestle the scrambles. You know, when we get in deep and we're sucking their legs in, you know, historically you, you score points. Now it, it, there's another set of defense that people are applying, you know, and, um, and we struggled with, with finishing um, uh, shots with, with guys that are scrambling. You know, and so uh, that's a good thing about early in the season. I mean, you hopefully you get that ironed out and you work towards uh, scoring those points. But um, I think the good thing is we get some we get some guys that, that I believe that continue to develop. You know, and uh, you know we have some uh, we have a few guys that are, that are you know. Are, motivated to step in the lineup, you know, and so um, I don't think that uh, we'll probably see anything different next weekend with the lineup, but, um, you know, we, we need to see even see improvement, right? We need to see improvement and moving forward and finishing those single legs and riding when we need to ride hard, um, you know. Uh, I, I don't know how many, I think 25 and 84 was only two riding time. Mm. It might have been. It didn't seem like it. What do you mean? I can't. We got road? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we didn't give up riding time at 74. We didn't give it up at 65. 84 we did. 97 we did. Heavyweight we did. 25 we did. 33 we did. 41 we did. 49 we did. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just two ways. Okay. Hey, um, with Whitlake's loss, with you know, with Whitlake's loss at one eighty four, uh, how much how much do you think that's just a product of him being at at a new weight? Yeah, it's just yeah, it's it's about him using his speed and his finesse and and you know, um, he's strong and he can stand toe to toe with just about anyone. But, you know, when you have speed and and, and quickness, uh, you know, and, and you're moving up two weights, you, you're going to need to rely on that. You're going to need to apply that. You're going to need to do it the entire match. You know. And as as he moved up, I think I think he's you know he's the guy that's really worked well this up to this point. So um, uh, he's he's in a good place with his head, and, and we'll we'll see where he goes from here. Do you think a match like today prepares him for the rest of the season? Oh, I think yeah, it gives you a lot to look at, right? You know, and, um, I thought maybe a couple weights we were outsized. You know, um, thought we won one of them, lost one of them. You know. Um, but, uh, you know, just a little bit more, you know, I thought, I thought that, uh, like 74, I, I really thought that we could maybe stretch that score out to, to a major decision, but we needed to do more in the first period. Um, 133 the same, you know, um, as you saw, I mean, a lot of our miss takedowns, just like I said, came from scrambles. And then at 74 and, and 33 were scrambles that we didn't finish our shots for 
possibly made your decisions? Coach, I think they had eight seniors or, or graduates to, to really choose for you guys, or kind of play for you guys. Do you, did you see your youth here compared to you know them that are kind of the better team? Did you see they have the players match? I'm sorry, say that, that again. Like, they're an older team, and they yeah. got a lot of more experience, a little bit. Did you kind of see that in some of the matches? Uh, I, yeah, I just saw, I, yeah, I saw their older guys wrestle hard, you know, um, <clears throat> compete and, and uh, be real stingy with points. And, and like I said, uh, um, in some of those positions, uh, single leg finishes could have made the difference in the outcome. Coach, this is just more of a clarification, but on that ninety, you know, at ninety-seven, they called it few stalling, a few stall calls on on, on Cerber on the back. Uh, how do you even avoid something like that? Like if 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 you're on the top, like uh, how would you be able to get out of there to the point where it's not a stall? Or I mean, is is that just a rule? Well, you know, I mean, if a guy raises up, the legs are on, and he raises up. I mean, it, it is our responsibility. But when he has a hold of our leg, you can't get your leg out. Okay. You know, so, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, the officials aren't perfect and, and um, <clears throat> as we move forward, a lot of things might get ironed out. I, I, and I don't even, I, I, I'm just assuming that that was, I mean, that was the case. He's, he had his leg. I mean, I don't know where you're going. How can you take your legs off when somebody's grabbing your leg? You know, and we didn't throw him in. We, we put him in and he built up. You know, and so um, it's a it's a close call. I thought it should have been stalemate and put him right back down. You know, let's not. You know, um, I mean, you know, unfortunately, you, you took away the guy that scored the takedown. Took you know, the, the, the guys that you know, server scored um, two takedown in, in the first, and, and and he scored the second takedown in the in the um, second or excuse me, the third, you know, and after that takedown, he took the lead, um, took the ride time off, you know. And he got penalized for, you know, but I'm not saying it was poorly called by no means. Just some close calls that made the difference. Looking at Doucette again, I know you mentioned, you know, at the ride out, you have to get out of that. Do you feel like First off, you know, kind of wrestling against a smaller guy, a guy I believe bumped up a weight. Did he, should he have been in the right out situation or should he have maybe gotten that in sudden victory even before? Well, I think he's still learning how to compete. Maybe he's not sure he's supposed to win still a little bit, you know. We, we've seen a little bit of hesitant in his wrestling. Um, but listen, you know, um, he's got, this is a great opportunity for you, you know, and. Um, Let's not make it more than a tough, hard wrestling match. You know, it's what it is. You think it's just getting back to the basics first? Yeah, you said. You got to score. You got to score points. Coach, you mentioned feeling like Whitley is at the right way. She's obviously has got a huge win. Or, excuse me, G Feller obviously has got a huge win at 57. Do you feel like that going up for him is working out too? You know, um, yeah, we, we haven't made any decisions, but, um, you know, that, the, the, uh, you could take some wear and tear on your body wrestling up a weight. And that's what I feel like he's doing, right? Now, whether he stays there or not, whether he makes a team, uh, you know, I, I don't know that, but, but, you know, there's some wear and tear on him, right? And you come out of those matches and it's, he feels it, you know. So, uh, you know, Guys are bigger and a little bit stronger, but he's done a nice job of staying really competitive in the match, you know. But but as we've seen his matches, um, we've seen some really close tight matches, right? And so that tells you a little bit, you know, um, about him doing a good job, winning matches and helping us win dual meets. We can't.